Our next guest is a party planner to the stars and has organised some of the most lavish shindigs for some of London's biggest names. Armed with an impressive black book, Stephen Duggan's talents have been exploited by the likes of Sir Elton John, Adele, Simon Cowell and Leona Lewis, earning him the title The Artist of the Event World. Wow, let's find out exactly how he does it. Event planner extraordinaire Stephen Duggan joins us now live from London. Stephen, good morning to you. How does, uh, how does one good become... Morning, how how good morning, good, good morning. How, how do you start to become a fabulous event planner? Uh, well, my journey's been quite long. It's been a bumpy road, but still quite fun at the same time. Um, it's, it takes, it's a lot of hard work, first of all. Um, I basically started with clubs in Ireland, which is where I'm from, and that developed into, that was almost like a showcase for me. Then I was able to take that to London and expand, show people what I could do best, and then just take it from there. So it's got bigger and bigger. I've got into the the, the right circle of people and became a talking point, which is obviously really positive for us. So, oh, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's been fast but fun. Yeah. <laughs> so take us back to when you were first booked to coordinate an event for Sir Elton John. That must have been a bit exciting. Yeah, that was a good day. That was a good day. <laughs> um, yeah, that, uh, I got a phone call from a friend, actually, who, who was um, one of his personal assistants, luckily. So he just asked me, did I want to show a few ideas? come up with um, different concepts and I, th I thought okay let, let's try let's see what happens before I knew it I was on a site visit choosing flowers draping dressing like choosing props so it, it just went from there so that it's it's exciting it was really exciting at the time and quite special it is impossible for any of us to imagine what would it, what it would be like inside one of Elton John's parties. So what are some of the things that you've organised for him and how, how difficult is it knowing that the eyes of the party world are, uh, and Elton John are on you? Um, I think you don't, really, you don't really take that into consideration sometimes. You just treat them like any other client. So it's very much we have the same simple rules, taking the concept to a, a full, a, like a design team where we all break each part down and present it to them. So we, we took it quite quite naturally whatever we had to do we just did it he's very easy to work with to be honest um, he just knows what he wants he's a very sociable person and he believes in quality over quantity so yeah he, he's he knows what he wants so it's it's very specific and very uh, the detail is a lot of attention to detail and, and what about some secrets at, so. have you encountered any bad behavior from some of your a-listers um, no, nothing, nothing that stands out really. Um, everything seems to have gone quite smoothly, so which is fortunate for us. It's, it's quite a good thing to have to say, but yeah, nothing really, nothing to date. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what about yes. our most outrageous <laughs> requests? Or the celeb saying, "I need you to do this for my party." Um, well, at Elton's, obviously, with the media, we had to we had to try and form some sort of barrier, if you like, to try and keep. Uh, um, press away, not away, but just try and calm the situation a bit. So we had like all the glass had to be covered with reflective materials. So any pictures that were got in what, when he moved through rooms or from any window, we had to um, reflect the glass with some special film. So that was a, a bit of a request because we had about an hour to do all the windows in the venue. Mm. So it was a bit yeah, tight, right. tight for time, but okay. we did it. So. Stephen, just finally, yeah. I'm getting married in December. What is your number one tip for people <laughs> planning a wedding? Uh, number one tip, just breathe. Breathe. <laughs> because we get a lot of, a lot of stress brides for us. So, yeah, it's, I think just uh, have your vision. Make a mood board before you even meet an event planner because that helps us. It gives us a great idea. Mm. So I think just take it easy and just... Ha have your have your ideas. <laughs> just remember, yeah. okay, we'll don't do stop breathing. Uh, Stephen, thank you very much. Good to talk to you. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. And that whole idea about blocking no out the windows, you're familiar with that because you insisted we did that for you this morning on your way <laughs> to the studio. <laughs>